Hello everybody and Merry Christmas and welcome to Fear and Hunger, the first one. So I wasn't planning on doing this. I planned on doing this in my spare time or whatnot because I never played the game and I just recently got a copy of it or whatnot. And well, I guess I just decided to go ahead and delve on into it. It was asked by a couple people to turn around and play the first one, but Honestly, I just didn't want to play it on here because it's really fucking hard. So, yeah, I didn't want, to, want people to see me dying over and over and over and over again. Because unlike Fear and Hunger Tamina, where I have the get out of jail free cards of lucky coins and guns, I don't have that here in Fear and Hunger. So I've seen other people play a lot better than me and die far more than I'm probably going to die or whatnot. But, well, I'm probably going to die more than them. But we'll see how it goes. Um... I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to beat this, and I don't even know how often I'm going to put it out, but I will go ahead and play it. Um, I have until the 4th. The, the 4th was when I actually go back to work, so I'll try and see if I can beat it at least once before then. So, oh, God. Boy, there is so much regret here. So much regret. Just, oh, God. Well, I don't know what else to say other than let's get to it. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Of course, you have the four main classes. Mercenary, thief, assassin, whatever brings the silver to the table. Mercenary is known for his dirty tactics in battle and crafty ways of gaining the advantage. Knight, with pure and righteous ways of the warrior. Having been trained for combat since a child, Knight excels in close combat and with different weaponry. Dark Priest, bearing no burden on such things as morality and ethics, gives Dark Priest an edge in blood magic. However, devoting oneself to magic has left his physical body weak. An Outlander, hardened in the freezing winds of the north, Outlander is an epitome of survival. He knows all the tricks to stay alive even in the most impossible of situations. Jesus Christ. So I did play just a second ago or whatnot, just to make sure everything was recording right or whatnot. I played with the mercenary. I don't know if I want to go this route again, but I did manage to last a while until I ran into my first encounter and I died immediately. So I'm going to give this a shot. Plus, if I'm not mistaken, I think from what I remember about Fear and Hunger, I think the mercenary is the one that has the rush ability, which makes him a lot faster. So I'll go ahead and try and get it. But uh, let's get into it. And of course, this will be Darren. Oh, God. Instant doom for putting my name on this. I got so lucky with the coin flips in the little test run I did or whatnot. I know I'm going to die like on the very first coin flip. I can see it. Oh God. Should just be pain and sadness, not even fear and hunger. Oh, you don't have to convince me of the dread I'm about to get myself into. I fully know. Jesus. Yeah, I'm playing normal mode. Uh, hard mode. <laughs> Let me at least learn how to play this one first. Maybe I'll do a hard mode one day. And yes, let's play the intro. God. You were born with the soul of the endless that makes you yearn for freedom and forces you to push your creativity to its limits. You put your creativity to the test in the most harshest of environments. You were born and soon abandoned in the capital of the Eastern Sanctuaries, Jataya. You had to choose at a very young age to either become a pickpocket, a burglar, or try to struggle and lead an honest life. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do a burglar. Your life spent learning thievery certainly didn't go to waste. You learn to live with constant fear and danger over the years. The crude streets of Tatire teach you valuable lessons. You learn lockpicking. Okay, cool. 
As you grew older, you took part in the various mercenary armies and learned the dirtiest tricks to stay alive. You were taken in by a notorious veteran highwayman, and you joined his little band of criminals and ex-soldiers. During one of your many raids, your brigade got ambushed. The odds were seriously against you. You could have just abandoned your comrades and kept you alive, or you could have fought to your last breath. Uh, sorry, bro, but, you know, mercenary. Yep, got abandoned. You learned escape plan. You traveled across the land in your raids and eventually settled down in the kingdom of Rondon, where silver was loose as long as you were up for getting your knife dirty. One day you got an ominous task from the officials of the kingdom of Rondon. You are to be paid well in silver to get a captain of a fabled mercenary army out of the dungeons of Rondon itself. From the dungeons of fear and hunger, the morbid place has been used as a wartime prison by the kingdom and for some reason they need an outside sword like yourself to infiltrate their very own stronghold. Yeah, that, that's the first bad sign. If you can't control your own prison, you're probably fucked. So, okay. Something is clearly not right about this mission, and you have felt nauseous since the moment you agreed on the job. But you are short on silver, and a reward is all that matters in the end. Oh boy, if only you knew. You spent your last night in the kingdom. Mm. Uh... Is this gonna give me a rush? I'm gonna rush straight for my mission. Dash. Okay. I think that's it. And also, if I... Oh, God. Yeah, he's fast as hell. And if I remember correctly, I only have a short amount of time before I get ambushed by some dogs. And I really don't want to go out like that, so... Yep. Mm-hmm. Cabbage. Nothing. Fuck you, dogs. Okay. I went through here last time. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. However, since I'm faster than I was last time, I shouldn't get killed. I got killed by like an elite soldier or something. Okay, ominous circle is ominous. Blue herb. Nice to see the Resident Evil is still here. Don't know what the dried mushrooms are gonna do for me. Salami. Opium. That's for my sanity. I think I have to have a pipe to smoke it though. Bone saw. Search. Tails. I fucking knew it. I knew it. The last time I did this, it was tails. Now this time it's heads, of course. I'm going to run. Yep, get away. All right. Watch it be tails. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. The last time it was tails, heads, heads, and I got every single one of them. This time, I'm failing already. Small key. Okay. Where are you? Come on. Juke! Alright. It's gonna be Tails. Be Tails. Thank you. Uh, Eagle Crest Shield. I also got that last time. I think I got an Eagle Crest Shield. I got um, some arm thingies and something else. I can't remember. I don't know what that cloth hood is going to do for me, but sure. I really hope I didn't take like the hard way and then I'm going to die in pain and sadness. I probably will, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Key doesn't work there. Lock pick. That's a lot of rotting shit there. Um, which way are you going to go? Great, you're going exactly the way I need to go. You fuck. Come on, get out the way. Please get out the way. Come on, just just, just come like right over there. Oh, you slow fuck. 
Oh, you're just gonna stand right there. Okay, cool. Oh, can't cross that way. Great, great. Apparently, I haven't learned the ability to step over dead bodies. Great. I also got sucked up in the earth last time as well. I hope that doesn't happen again. Um, let's not do this. Door is locked from the other side. Let's see, what else do I remember about the first game? I think if you get to the prisons in like 30 minutes or something like that, you can save Lagarde, otherwise known as Griffith, who did nothing wrong. I, I doubt that's going to happen, so. Ooh. A nameless grave stands here. The dirt seems somewhat fresh and suggesting it's not that old. There's a tombstone here. Here lies Yuho of the Northern Woods. Although he only briefly served in a dungeon, he is severely missed. 1562 to 1590. There's a tombstone here. Here lies Sir Sonia. Her brute strength beat every man in an arm wrestling match. Oh God, that name hits too close to home. There's a tombstone here. Here lies Jonah. This one desperately sought death. We'll hope, well, hope she's glad now that she's found it. 1564 to 1590. There's a tombstone here. Here lies Sir Jacob, the great storyteller who made everything just that much more lively. 1561 to 1590. The cross is missing any text, but for some reason the hole has already been dug here. The pit is almost like wait, almost like waiting for someone. Yep, me. Here lies Sir Anders. 1557 to 1590. Someone has graved something here on the tombstone. Hope I get to taste your creation once we meet again, dear friend. There's a tombstone here. Here lies Laron of the Corso. The mage no one asked for, but the mage we deserved and got. 1563 to 1590. Everybody died in 1590. Okay. The coffin is sealed shut tight. The stone slab over this coffin is too heavy to move. This is where I got ambushed last time. Uh, this place has I'm about to get fucked written all over it hmm blood that's a great sign the remains of a bizarre creature left here the blood is still wet does the creature have on any armor or anything that we could possibly use? A gun would be nice. An infinite shotgun would be even better. Okay. From here, an explosive vial. Hold it. Just hold it right there. You are sane, I gather. Even if I may seem winded and wounded, I can still pack a deadly blow or two, so don't get any ideas. Who are you? I am Sir Seymour, a knight from the Grand Kingdom of Rondon. I serve my country to the last breath. Just know that. Okay, good for you, bro. Iron Mace. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Heads. God damn it. Uh, this time it's heads. Leg guards. Okay, cool. Um, and I got a short bow. I don't know if that's going to help me at all. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, I think I remember this place and there should be a bed nearby. Worse, I know a thing or two. Oh my god. Okay. Ah, yes, bed. Save and rest. 
Is the first one okay? Yes, okay. So, progress. I, I have a save. I'm pretty sure I'm fucked from that point on. I felt like someone was watching while you slept. This room doesn't feel safe anymore. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not. The, sure, I guess. Bag of wheat flour. Okay. Red vial. Moldy bread. Bottle of ale. Am I hungry? I think I'm okay. Force the door open. <laughs> door is too strong for you. Okay. Ah, this part. Tails. Oh, God. Soul Stone. I. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't sleep there. Oh, no. Yep, it's not like I need XP in this game, so, yeah. A simple crude doll depicting a long-haired man is laying on the ground. The doll gives you chills and an eerie vibe can be felt from it. You take the peculiar doll. Okay, fuck you bird things. Oh god! Yeah, fuck. That scared me. Ah, yes. Um... I'm gonna try and defeat you, but... Oh, okay, there we go. Um, let's deprive you of that as well. Uh, oh no. Um, I think I chose Tails last time. Hits. Oh God, thank you. Okay. Um, let's just get rid of that head. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. Um, do you have any pain on you? Sure, soul stone. Okay, um... Oh, shit. What the... That shouldn't be fair. Come on now, okay. Uh, this is a dead end. Fuck you, birds. Dart. Dead end. This is where I just came from. Oh fuck. Um. Oh god. How do I get out of here? Um. Yeah, the door is too strong for me. Shit. Is there nothing else here? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. Well, sh oh, okay. I was just stupid. I couldn't see that. Raw meat. Lovely. Blue herb. Lovely. Doors locked from the other side. I can't force it. Oh, fuck. Guy, as long as you keep the meat away from me, we'll be okay. Uh, this is where he tried to fuck me last time. So, guard? Okay. Oh, really? Fuck it. Really? Guard? Um, head again? Come on. There we go. Yeah, keep your stinger away from me. God. I can't force that open search them cloth fragment cell keys to f3 cool ball of whiskey wonderful oh I was about to say if this was a dead end I was gonna be so pissed 
What? I didn't even see you. Um. Yeah, just die. You bastard. What, really? He, he's not dead. You know what? I'm just gonna... I didn't mean to do that. So you're just not gonna die. Okay, so I'm just gonna run and leave you to your own devices. Uh, and now I'm bleeding. And if I've known anything about bleeding, is that it has been the number one cause of me dying. Uh, I have a billion things. Come on now. There we go. What is wrong with my foot? No. No. Um, I don't know what that foot thing means. Hmm. Okay. I feel less hungry. Is that a pine cone? I think that was a pine cone. Oh no. I don't remember this being a good place. It's gonna turn right here. Okay. I hear mysterious chanting in my ear. That's always a wonderful sign. You know it would be great right now? Safe. That would be even better. Oh no. That's a trap. That's a bed. Hmm. I want to save. I really do. Uh. Can I save? Wait, that's just... Why would you do this to me? Why, why would you tease me with a bed and I can't use it? Okay. Okay. Dried mushrooms. Blueberries. Okay. Something is going on. There are two people in the cell. Buckman. Ah. Trotter. Please. Why do this? Say it again, please. I love it. Even if I may lack the parts, I still feel the tingle. You're completely crazy. You've finally gone insane. Um... I'm gonna ignore you. Oh. Huh. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Who might you be? Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's get rid of that, shall we? Um, let's get rid of that. And I missed, of course. Try this again. There we go. That was suspiciously easy. Um, you got anything on you, bro? Second floor key. Okay. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, but but you had the thought, but then you was just like, oh, no, nah. skinning him would have no purpose. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Who are you? Buckman? Thank God. Thank Olimar, indeed. Buckman does a symbol of a cross with his hand and nods his chin up. In nomine patria fide spirite sancte, probably. I don't know. I'm so glad there are still good folk around. What was that all about? I've been running away from the wretched torturer for days now. Oh, you mean Trotter? He's capable of cruelty beyond comprehension. Definitely not now. That, that's all you gotta say? Can I use the bed? I can't use the bed. Fuck. I'm making so much progress. Aaron is starting to feel hungry. I need to stop eating. An Iron Maiden is waiting for the next poor soul to see its insides. Miscellaneous torturing items. You cannot comprehend the function of most of them. You take the skinning knife with you. Okay. There is a person over there. People scare me. 
I don't know if I should walk in there. What's up, guys? Um, just don't mind me. I just want to read your book here. We're not. I'm just going to walk past you all. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Yep. Roll tight. You search the bookshelves for anything useful. You find a torn page. Dusty old books fill the bookshelf. Some of them seem partly rotten and moldy. Search. Ah, oh, shit. Tales. Please be tales. Fuck. You find nothing of interest, of course. Hmm. Oil. Ale. That. No, I, I did this in the last game, and yeah, I paid dearly for it. Human Hydra. I'm a hungry. Bring us food, human. What do you eat? Humans, of course. Bring us sacrifices. Okay. You know, I'm surprised you haven't gone insane yet. Not that I'm asking for it, but oh no. You hear a crack underneath your feet. Oh, son of a bitch. Ugh. Uh, last time was heads, little tails. Please, please, Almer, please. Thank. Thank you. You are so kind to me. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God damn it. Okay, uh, arm. We know how this goes. Stinger is pulsating. Wait, if I attack again. Wait, that's two times. Guard. Stinger is pulsating. And you missed. Uh, yeah, take that head off. Fuck. Guard. Guard again. <laughs> okay, so it's two times, so try. There we go. Yeah, let, let, let it pulsate. There you go. Okay. Oh, you son of a bitch. Of course. Of course. You've got to be shitting me. Do I not have anything for that? You've got to be fucking kidding me. Wait, can I, can I search you? Search him. Bone saw, leather helmet. I don't think I can do anything about that. God damn it. Uh, pine cone pig instructions. Heads. Oh, fuck you. Uh, pine cone big instructions. Seems to be very popular right now. I curse the older gods. My wife has died because of their plague. My child has died because of their sins. Next will be me, and I will die because of this macabre hellhole they're, they're, they're built. Guessing they. Recipes of the 15th century. Anathemia. Oh, what's up, Dark Priest? Before I deal with you. Heads again. Fuck! Captain's diary and a small key from the inside. Book pages one. O oh Lord, teach hurting. Dark priest. Dot dot dot. Okay. I am so boned.
Mm. Let's see some of these books that we got here. Recipes of the 15th century. The book is about various recipes from the famous Chef Anders of the Royal Kitchen of Rondon. Oh, that's the dude that was buried, okay. Even if the book portrays itself as a recipe book, it seems to tell more about the notorious Chef Anders himself. It's more of a biography book, greatly over-exaggerating his life triumphs and challenges as the royal chef. There seems to be a nice love story twist too within the princes of the court. Between all of this romance and betrayal, you find recipes of Chef Anders' famous meat pie and vegetable pie. That was in that was in, in, in Termina too. I don't know if that's just a placeholder or something, but it was in Termina as well. Captain's Diary. Captain Rudimir, 16th of January, 1590. Trotter once again went too far with his wicked methods. The prisoner was but a child, but already he had to go through so much torture that he shit himself more than he bled. I must say, I'm afraid of Trotter to a certain degree. Sometimes I think I would do this, it would, I would do this world justice if I just offed him with my blade. Very few know, but Trotter used to be the fame, be a famed holy knight of Rondon back in the day. He was able to achieve great fame at a very young age, but during our holy campaign against the Eastern Territories, he was captured. Everyone presumed him as dead. He died as a war hero. He should have died as a war hero. But five years later, when we occupied the Eastern capital, Jataya, we also found what was left of Trotter. He was but a shadow of his former self. A disfigured hunchback man with barely any resemblance to the great hero so many adored, and I'm sure during those five years he went through every method of torture he now puts to use himself. Just to honor the memory of Trotter the White, I let this monster live today, although I see great contradiction in my words here. Fuck. Torn page. A page torn clearly torn from a book. It tells of the crow mauler. Oh yeah, that fucker. Crow, crow, grow your horn. Vowel as a snow in the Scarsburg massacre row. Crow, crow, oh why you maul. The meat is fresh and the blood still falls. Crow, crow, are you there? He is coming with nothing to bear. Crow, crow, behind you now. Oh, crow, please reap, oh, crow, what I sow. I swear, if he would have appeared behind me. Hmm, Anathemia also was in Tamina. Again, don't know if it's a placeover, but... The Book of Medical Science, the Book of Anathemia, Collected Knowledge of Homer of the Abyssonia, Symptoms and Effects, Confusion, yep. What's wrong with my foot? Infected wound on leg. Great. Yep. I know all these. So I'm hungry. Let's eat some moldy bread. And what else? Let's eat. Nah. I don't have a lot of food, but not necessarily in a bad way with food. Hmm. I only have one blue vial. What does a white vial do? Antidote to poisoning. I don't know if it would cure the infection on my foot though. Hmm. I kind of wish we could rip up clothing or something like that. Kind of like how it is on Project Zomboid. If you have clothes, you can just rip them up. Shit. Because I really don't want to die from an infection. I'm just bleeding out. Okay. So, what can I do here? And I have to go that way. Okay. Um been this way I think I didn't go out this way what search the bear for anything useful to dry mushrooms 
I need a cloth fragment. That's what I really need right now. I am not jumping down there. Just no. Oh, fuck. Uh, Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, I think taking the head off that thing isn't going to help me. So, oh, fuck, my health. I didn't see that. Well, you know what? Explosive file. Fuck it. Of course. Of course it can. Oh, tackling is still a, well, it's not that much of a bitch in this game. Death is the answer. <laughs> Suicide and all is always an option in this game. The game loves telling you that. Search the bookshelf and mock up book. Not even a cloth fragment. Tails. Watch it be heads. Son of a literal bitch. All right, another anathemia. You better be tails. God damn it. God damn it. You see a figure standing in the shadows ahead. What? Where? There's a statue depicting the new gods here. Someone has written save us here with blood. Oh, fuck. Um. Shit. Need to go that way, I think. Or do I? You find a list of inmates among the other documents and papers. But can I get a cloth fragment, though? Oh, little girl. There seems to be a little girl inside the cage. She's hiding her face from you. You could open the cage door with lockpicking. The girl is staying quiet. Would you like this ugly ass doll that I picked up? If I can find it? The fuck happened to it? Why am I not seeing it? Hmm. Ah, there it is. Uh, is that how that works? Okay, sure. Um, let's try this white vial. See if that cures me. It does not. And I'm still fucked. God damn it. Gotta go out from an infection. Great. The nightmare is taking its toll on me. All the high morals and ethics have no value here. The things I've done to survive. There's no place for a little miscreant like me in the warmth of the sun anymore. I am part of these dungeons now, part of this never-ending nightmare, just a one more cog in this machine of fear and hunger. In a way, I find it comforting. I have a definite place in this wicked world, but I am writing this here as a warning for anyone who happens to step down to this darkness. Do leave if it's still possible. 
You find a small booklet of under the guest book. You take the book of fears with you. Mm. All I need is a cro is a cloth fragment. That's all I need. Well, I need everything besides a cloth fragment as well, but still. The cloth fragment fragment would really help. Cheese. Cabbage. Wheat. Wooden buckler. I don't know what that would do, but okay. Dried meat. Like, I got meat for days. I have food for days. But a claw fragment? Nope. And if I didn't use the explosive thing, I could have used that there. Great. The door seems to be open, but there's no telling what is on the other side. Open. Is this where the... Oh, I see you. Oh, shit, I saw you. <laughs> I'm still gonna die, but I mean... Small victories. Small victories. Is he going around? You smart bastard. I think he's going around. Ta oh, fuck. Wait. What are you doing? Are, are you still looking down? You are. Hail. Throwing dart. Oh, for the love of God. A claw fragment is what I need. Purifying talisman, 35 coins. My kingdom for a cloth fragment. Oh shit, that was lucky. <laughs> or maybe not. That actually wasn't lucky at all. I'm still boned. Yep, there's nothing here. Ah, fuck you. Oh shit, dead end. <laughs> okay. And now we're back here. Great. Fucking great. You try to open the door, but it doesn't budge. Investigate. Purifying talisman seems to react to the markings on the door. Use it. Purifying talisman burn brightly. Level one. I hear more chanting. There is something written here. The hexing creates a connection to the gods, both the new and the old. To get closer to the older gods, you must work your way up and gain their affinity. With each circle, you get closer to them. The new gods only pass on their knowledge to those who share the same birth sign and soul with them. Okay. Curse equipment. I feel like that's a bad thing. You know, with the whole curse thing. Okay, what can I do here? Hmm. I have one lesser soul. On guard. No. I don't eat. Because I don't think steel is going to do me any good. Let's try on guard. Is it engraved in my head? It's a good place to put things. This did nothing for me. Oh, fuck. You are feeling dizzy. You died because of your infected wound. Fucking hell. Okay. All right. 
Jesus. Well, a lot of progress was made, but at least I did have one save point. I know kind of where I need to go, I guess, now to a certain degree and what to watch out for. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's about what I expected. But this actually went a lot better than I thought it did. Just those coin tosses fucking me. They are really fucking me right now. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. I'll put another one out as soon as I can. But it being Christmas at all, it might be a second. It probably be tomorrow. But yeah, thank you for watching. See ya.